Okay, this is going to be a little awkward. I'm going to be working on multiple screens here or devices. But um, yeah, so this is for my guys trying to um, yeah do the uh, so wheel sub assembly. Um, so finish the drivetrain without having put the drivetrain hardware in. Okay, so I've got my practice bot um, at that level right now. Um, so what you'll need to do is insert uh, a bearing flat. Okay, and um, if you don't see one in your folder, your folders definitely will look different from mine. Uh, they should be in there, but if you don't see one, um, uh, you can't find it, just let me know, okay? And I can share that with you. But yeah, you'll bring it in. You're gonna have to bring four in total, all right? But I'm just gonna show you the one. And uh, what we're gonna do is join this, okay, to the uh, test trail, all right? So specifically, I'm gonna take maybe like this, uh, like a little plus sign here. Mm, I guess that'll be fine. Uh, and I'm going to put it on. I want it on the third hole. Okay. So right there. Um, now let's fix it before I, you know, finally join it. Uh, and you can turn visibility off on like happy rails. If it's hard to see stuff, just, you know, as a word to the wise. Um, anyway. So don't want all of them gone. I uh, need at least, let's see. Well, anyway, so, um, okay. One thing I'm gonna do is rotate it this way. All right, and then I need to move this up so that it's square in the middle of the hole. All right, perfect. Um, so now I'm gonna click okay. And now what this is gonna let you do, uh, let me go back to the home view. Oh, I turned the visibility off of this test rail. Let me bring it back. Oh, I put it on the wrong side, so that's my bad. Um, but um, yeah, let me let me fix that. What this is going to let you do is uh, you'll be able to bring that wheel sub assembly and put it in here now because without it, you're trying to get a revolve joint, right, with one of the um, halves being a square, right? And that is not going to work, okay? So it's got to be uh, something circular to something circular for that to work. Um, so yeah, I said I would fix this. But you're going to have to do four of these. Um, you can like look at the direction, figure out how far back the next one is. Um, all right. Uh, I told you where the first one is and that's all you'll need to do. Just four, one for each wheel sub assembly. But, uh, let, I don't have much time I've left in this video. Uh, we'll see how far I can get trying to fix this. Um, all right. So maybe this will help you out. I don't know. Um, all right. So we're going to edit that point. Let's right click here, edit point. And, um, essentially let me keep flipping. Aha. I think that may have I've done it. Um, thing is, it's going to be through the metal because it was up against the metal. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, so maybe I just bring it back a little bit and that should be perfect then. So click OK. Uh, let's go back to this view. And yeah, it is uh, good, it looks like. Oh, problem is, uh, I actually did bring this, I think, too far over. This is supposed to be one hole over. So it's going to go through the middle hole of these three. All right. So again, that's an easy fix. Just go to um, you know edit joint and let's let's actually go at a side view here so I can see what I'm doing when I go to do this. Uh, so right right click edit joint and just bring this over until it's square. There, perfect. Um, actually, maybe just a little more, and then click OK. All right, so that should do it for you. Okay, I also have confirmed uh, that. This one um, is going to end with this hole, okay? So um, yeah, you can watch me do this if you want, but if, if that makes sense that this will be uh, on the second hole in on the back, uh, there you go. Uh, but I'll try to do a quick point here just to show that. Let's, uh, you know, use, let's activate the surface. And then, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, okay. I'll just do that and then Want that to go to right here, essentially. Uh, let's do flip, perfect, and we're going to rotate that direction. All right, we want it to be 180, perfect. Uh, and then let's just kind of go to a side view. Oh, okay, good. And then a side view, uh, and this needs to be brought up. And then, yeah, we're good there. All right, and so now that is ready uh, for the back one. Okay, so you do the same thing on the opposite side.